He's back. After nearly two years away from the octagon, Conor McGregor returns to the UFC to fight Khabib Nurmagomedov at UFC 229. It's a can't-miss event so find out how to watch and more. November 12, 2016. That was the last time Conor McGregor, 30, competed in Ultimate Fighting Championship, and since then, UFC, MMA fans have patiently waited until the notorious one's next fight. After getting beaten up by Floyd Mayweather in one of the biggest boxing matches in history, Conor's back in the UFC, and he's gunning for the World Lightweight Championship. However, the man holding the belt is the undefeated Khabib Nurmagomedov, 30. It all goes down at UFC 229 on October 6, so here's all the details you need to know. It's a pay-per-view, so that means money. Barring a surprise return of Brock Lesnar, UFC 229 will be the biggest UFC event in 2018, so you know that it's not going to be given away for free. This pay-per-view is going to run you around $64.99, give or take. UFC has a handy list of all the cable satellite providers carrying the fight, plus, there's UFC TV for those who want to stream it. The other option is to watch the fight in a bar that's broadcasting the event. Use the hand UFC bar finder to locate a party near you. Get ready for a late night. UFC 229 will take place at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The main card starts at 10 p.m. Eastern Time 7 p.m. PT. With four other matches, it's possible that the Khabib Conor fight won't start until past midnight on the East Coast. Those fights include Tun Ferguson vs. Anthony Pettis in a lightweight bout, Dominic Reyes vs. Ovin St. Priux, of light heavyweight fight, Alexander Volkov vs. Derek Lewis, a heavyweight battle, and Michelle Watterson vs. Felice Harrigan, a strawweight fight. There will be a lot of fighting going on. UFC 229 really starts at 6.15 p.m. Eastern Time, with four early preliminary fights taking place on UFC Fight Pass. Then, the preliminary card will air on Fox Sports 1 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Oh, it's personal between these two. Remember how Conor was arrested in Brooklyn back in April, after he attacked a bus with a hand truck, and subsequently ruined the planned UFC 223 card? Conor's rampage was retaliation after Khabib got into a heated confrontation with Conor's friend and teammate, Artem Lobov. Conor said that if Khabib stepped off the bus, he would be in a box, and I would be in a cell. So, who's going to win? Khabib is 26-0. Conor is 21-3-0. Conor has a 4-inch reach advantage, but also 2 years of ring rust. A time of publication. Khabib. Easier said than done. Conor has been away from the ring and the UFC spotlight for two years. It's possible that during his time away, he worked on his perceived weakness, defensive grappling, to a point where he's better than before. Of course, Conor has not lost his edge when it comes to trash talk. I don't really care about his mentality or what Khabib's thinking, Conor said. I do not give a fuck. I am ruthless here. I am coming to put a hole in this man's skull. It's another day, setting the bar high and knocking it out of the park. I plan on knocking that man's nose straight into the nosebleeds.